Hello, my name is Ulster, and uh, I just wanted to do this for a long time, and I didn't really know if I could do it because, like, I've been such a fan of the Nostalgia Critic, and I didn't really want to do much YouTube stuff until, like, I got my friend because, like, he hasn't watched much YouTube videos as I have, so I just wanted to, someone to watch with me. So, uh, this is the first one I'm doing on my own. I hope to do more with my friend actually. Because we've, we've watched some Nostalgia Critic together and, you know, he and I have talked about it a little bit. And, you know, we, we really like his style and, you know, his, his passion and everything. Uh, and uh, I think we watched, like, uh, Cat in the Hat together and um, The Odd Life of Timothy Green. I watched with him. And also, like, a little bit of the signs, like, we didn't watch that uh, throughout. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is uh, Food Fight by the Nostalgia Critic, and I, I really like, like this episode because uh, this one I really appreciated all the like the setup he, he did for, for this joke to, to do it well. And uh, I will be also doing uh, maybe uh, The Last Airbender, the one I was talking about in my uh, filler episode of uh, the NC anniversary and it's still their 10 years so uh, this is just me uh, wanting to kind of give thanks to them uh, so yeah guys uh, without further ado let's go and I'm really a fan of his newer work too like I, I don't mind the skits so, some of the skits don't make sense, yes, but uh, the other skits are fine, you know, I don't think they're too long or anything. Like, Demo Reel was pretty, pretty alright, like, okay, so, like, the first view wasn't that good, but I appreciated what he was trying to do. knocks over the lab. <laughs> you know what? I thought he was gonna hang him. Like the first time I watched this one, I thought he was gonna hang himself with the 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 tie. Like that's that's what I would have done actually. Like just the uh, and then he goes and like uh, throw it on the floor. <laughs> but that's just me. That kind of checked on this actually. <laughs> Like, did it really get a negative percent on Rod Tomatoes? I don't know. I thought he was gonna throw the milk at the... Oh, he did. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, literally the milk on the phone. Yeah, the liquid. Yeah, yeah. And this is just obviously editing. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's fake as fuck. <laughs> and he did this in the basement of his own house, man. <laughs> uh, I found his uh, freak out in uh, Masters of Disguise even funnier, actually. Because you know he was taking the bat and everything, and that's obviously an allusion to like Mr. J and um, uh, Harley Quinn and everything. <laughs> I like how it's a pad that he's using. <laughs> I thought he was gonna grab the the bottle and hug it. <laughs> I've never watched this movie, by the way, and I don't plan to, because I tried Masters of Disguise, like, for... just for fun, and... I just couldn't, man. It was just fucking bullshit. Like, I watched The Room, and, uh... that was just, like... a porno gone wrong. That's about it. Yeah, John Tron. So you're saying that I jump aboard the bandwagon before it even becomes a bandwagon, I can be one of the front runners of the bandwagon? Potentially. Potentially. 
<laughs> and this was uh, used in his later uh, intro as well. And I'll put the link in the description below, don't worry. Such meta. <laughs> I like how Malcolm is very glasses and is holding glasses while Tamara is holding a sunglass. Ah, uh, Charlie Sheen, man. Wayne Brady, man. Wayne Brady is funny. Like, I I really like him. In, I mean, I really like him in. Um, Whose line is it anyway? And also, uh, he was in uh, How I Met Your Mother, so that was pretty cool as well. Was that really a, like a book on it? That is freaking weird, man. Uh, poor Christopher Lloyd, man. He just, he, I think he got chew on in this. <laughs> like how, like, Daffy Duck just like, what? That's crazy. Well, I mean, maybe the 65 million was lost because of the work that went in the first draft, so... But I mean, it still doesn't excuse the the rushed animation and everything. And I honestly think that, you know, Seth Rogen looked at this and went, yeah, I can do it better. <laughs> It's like, see, like all these like visuals in the background. It it, it really reminds me of, um, what's this uh, sausage party? Like the the front of the market as well. It's, it's it reminds me of sausage party. These are just all weird, man. And at the foreground of this world is Charlie Sheen's character. Cinnamon Sleuth. Oh god, look at that CGI. It literally is blurry. Like, I never noticed that until now, like, in full screen. Like, I never watch videos in full screen. This is the first time. God, look at that. Well, I think it was just uh, Charlie Sheen's punctuation as well. It's, uh, I think it was more of fat cat burglar. Yeah, that's that's one of the things that I was like, yeah, this is just a token black guy that Wayne Brady is playing. I don't I don't really remember watching Transformers 2, man. I think I skipped that and uh, I watched the third and the fourth one and, and I gave up on the fourth one. So fuck that shit. I'm not gonna watch the fifth one. <laughs> I've seen worse in a, in a, in an anime. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. Don't kill me, anime fans. <laughs> I mean, it's it's kind of like an anime character, to be honest with you. It's 
a cat human hybrid. Maybe a cat scratched them. And then they were like, oh, you. I will. I will make fun of you so hard. <laughs> like, the one of the biggest questions for me is that guy in the background. Like, who is he talking to? I mean, sure enough, she does disappear, and six months later, Dex gives up the dog detective business and decides to open up a club called the Club of Banana. And this is also one of the plot holes that I didn't understand. I'm like, what? How did he become this guy like so fast? Like, you, you, ha even if you're famous, you'd still have to go through some, you know, business kind of thing. Like you have to obtain the license, everything. I know it's technically a kids movie, but I'm just saying. It was actually pretty good. It's like I feel like Christopher Lloyd is just overacting in this so hard. He's just having so much fun. <laughs> just to <laughs> products. Oh. Be honest. I came on too strong, didn't I? A little bit. A little bit. So the grocery store owner, of course, agrees that such a puppy dog looking man and brand X begins to be brought into the store. Back in Sam and Max in the source, we see Dax makes his way to Casa de Camp, which is the hangout for big name icons like Mr. Clean, Charlie the Tuna, and California Rings. The funny thing is that the people who obviously said no to using their product icons in this movie. Really ugly, really bitter substitutes that I guess are trying to stick it back to the people who denied the use of their image. Like, this is their version of Chiquita Banana. Do I look like the dairy queen to you? And this is obviously supposed to be the Keeper L. Don't sue. What? Like, did they put the line just like that, or was it improv? Oh god. Like even though like in Masters of the this guy is the like the only funny thing was the fart joke. Like I don't like fart jokes man, that's just stupid. Sometimes I hate myself because like I do laugh at some fart jokes. Like I'm like what? Does that even mean? Shit, but then it 
this feels good. Yeah. It's me, yeah. <laughs> I, I really think they were forced to kind of like go deep down the the rabbit hole if you know what I'm saying like cheap 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 animators and uh, it just went hammy Yeah, like the background is not really generated well and everything. Like the characters in the background, I mean. Well, the background as well. It's it's kind of like a cardboard cutout, to be honest with you guys. Is like the tones and everything is very back at the back at the generation of this movie. I wouldn't be surprised. Like no kidding. Because they didn't have enough time to put the emotions on the the face, so the guys were like, "Nah, let's put the emotion capture." But the problem is mo with motion capture is that even though sometimes you just like move your hands a little bit, you also move in a, the the movie, so it's gonna be really weird. That's what happens. Oh, like in full screen? That's fucking disgusting. What are you talking about, man? He's he's talking like like the worst Jewish stereotype I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> Oh, that's sh much shittier. What the fuck? How? Christ. That is disgusting. Like, okay, some of his comedy goes on a little long. Like, in this one, a little bit. A little bit long, but some is pretty funny. Yeah, that was funny. Oh, I mean, that was like that was, that was like yeah. You didn't really need to take the blame for that, but I I know what you're going for, and that is what the fuck why? How did they even fly on the bottle? And <laughs> the sausage party place. <laughs> The sausage party trailer plays like I legitimately had one time where I rewatched this and the sausage party trailer played man I'm like oh god irony at its best
No, it's not, man. See, like, e even Tech like, Queen Brain is like, but. So they decide to get all the brands together to stop the evil Lady X and her Brand X arm. But not before her head of the guards tries to shut down the. Oh, God, is this. Like, I was. I keep wondering, like, what he's supposed to be, actually. Like, he's kind of like a reptilian man? I don't know, man. And to be honest with you, what I like maybe do is Disney afternoon. I, I I have a like a disturbing like confession to make with you guys. Yeah, why 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 is it the French national anthem, man? Poor Mr. Clean. I didn't. I didn't watch the original movie. Yeah, I didn't watch Barbara, man. Maybe, maybe, like after this, I'll go pop it on. Viva la France! Viva la France! So he comes back with a bigger army and it looks like their battle has just begun. Come on, get me, He's on the roof! Get him! Jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz hands, jazz hands. Oh god, this part. Wow. Oh, fuck. Standing detail. Surely they must have been. I mean, I don't think he had the time. Oh god, look at that. Like, that's just... Oh, that's just disturbing. I'm just like seeing all the... Like the networks and everything, the like grid. Like I'm just picturing on the grid of the... Uh, of the computer. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm sure you watched your own stuff, like, like... Uh, I, I kinda like Rio, and I kinda like Dice Age. And that's, one, like, some of the things, like, I don't necessarily agree with the nostalgia critic as well, like... Sometimes he says things for no, not no real reason. Like it, it's his opinion, yeah. It's but I'm just like, nah, this is for kids, you know. But some, um, I'm like, yeah, it does make sense. Like the beauty and the beast and everything. Like Jungle Book, even like I kind of got his point, but I still liked Jungle Book anyway, and I thought that was a better remake still. So. This is the stupidest moment in like any form of media. Like, what the fuck? He should be dead. Like, that's all I'm gonna say. Maybe. 
Alex makes it to Lady X's headquarters and discovers... But not today. <laughs> she was behind Sunshine's disappearance the whole time. I'll just leave you to it. Bye. <laughs> I like how she gets away. Sunshine gets her hands untied, throws a race into Dex, which he uses as a weapon, so he can untie the hands we clearly just saw she untied her to. I think it's more of the legs, but yeah, I, I don't really know though. really disturbing. Yeah, yeah, he's, he's there, right there. He's right there. <laughs> that would actually be a good series, by the way. <laughs> I, I mean, the twist is he's controlled by the, the ex person, the ex girl, whatever. The brand X woman, so we learn the big disturbing shocking twist. The villain of the movie the whole time was Darth Vader. The villain of the movie. Yeah, it was Darth Vader. Why is one of the shops in the background Monami? <laughs> That's right, Shyamalan. See Monami. <laughs> Worst fight I've ever played, like I've ever seen since I played the original Street Fighter man. And even like at that point of time where I played the first. Magical. Uh. 
And that's one of the things too, like I'm just like how how did anyone approve of these lines? Melon Rouge really? Like I'm just noticing all the background text. Oh god. Like that's this is just like something out of like my old Street Fighter game or something. Like I remember when I was original original playing my Street Fighter game as well. Like I was like, why is the uh, <coughs> why is the animation so bad and all that? Even at that time, you know what I'm saying? Is this real? I, d I don't want to know. I don't. I don't want to know, Internet. Um, no. Well, they probably had to take it out of their own wallet, so. Oh yeah, most probably. Yeah, I don't. I don't think anybody survived this movie properly, man. Oh, well, what the fuck is that? That's not a ring. It's like some. Carrot. Because the secret is inside, inside all of us. Whatever <laughs> that means. And just when you think you're allowed to flee this cauldron of high rate, they decide there's so much more money they need to get out. I want to see what's under that hat. This is fucking stupid, okay? Nobody can have a hat within a hat. So that was Who what the fuck is this Lawrence Castle? Like, uh, he's appeared twice director and executive producer which is sometimes usual but okay fine Jim and Leonard this is like his master of disguise as well but this one he stops it yeah Gave some, some gave all. And you know what? The price of the movie doesn't matter. Okay, yeah. But the point I'm trying to make is whether it was made for $65 million or just $65, there is nothing to be proud of in this movie. Everybody should be ashamed for even acknowledging it exists. I feel like the Elsabeth's ball sack just for drawing attention to it. The animation is the worst. They never look alive. The jokes are. Like the background as well, it's just like really weird. And this this scene in particular, I'm just like, what the fuck, man? There's, there's kids, you know, you're giving this to kids. Like, what the fuck? Okay? And that's why I'm like, there's no reason to censor anything anymore. Because, like, the internet has become a place where you can just find anything. And to be honest with you, this is just really, really, really ugly. That's about it. It's a Mario! <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> it's a me! A Mario! <laughs> Stormtrooper. Nah, close. Charge our brains. Of course. And, like, I like how the other eyes, like, squished. <laughs>
this is the worst animated film. Oh. And I like how his uh, second eye here is like squished. I'm <laughs> like, what the fuck? You tried though. And obviously, you're better than me, so. How it's slowly panning in. And that's one of the jarring things is when you watch his Christmas of the Crangs video and uh, he's trying to portray his uh, younger self and you can totally tell it's still him because he has white hairs in his um, goatee, so that's like, what? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, anything that's bad and good in that world is, yeah, it's, it's gonna be gone quickly. And that's the thing about Emoji Movie, because like I'm just like, it could be good, but I'm just like, I, I, I have I have issues against it, but uh, I'm totally gonna watch it anyway. It's my friend, take him a controversy. Hmm? Okay, I didn't get this joke, but yeah. I don't, I don't really watch the news, man, I just like... I just stay away because my news is cancerous as fuck. It's uber uber cancerous, man. Yeah, and they just fast forward the scenes, yeah. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> yeah, man, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. Although, I don't have a movie that I would go, like, this point to, like, smash anything or, like, like, break anything. Well, the closest was Obja, because I, like, I literally broke my pen, like, this is the pen I broke, so the, the, the sleeve is gone. That's, that's about it. I like that whispering thing he did there. Like I don't think any any amount of like reshoots could have uh, could have like recreated that. But I'm like yeah, that that was really good. Like I mean maybe they did like two or three takes on that, but it was still pretty good. Uh, so yeah, that 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 was one of my favorite reviews of him. Like uh, I'll do maybe a little bit more, but maybe I'll bring in my friends as well because he really likes the style as well. Like I'm just saying, like you know me and him, like he, he like like to make fun of things as well and just like go all out. And uh, you know we lo like reviewing movies too. We just like talking about movies and all that and. Uh, so yeah guys, uh, this is about it and uh, I hope you guys like this and I uh, hope to see more in the future because I'm going to be schooling my friend on some YouTube uh, history lessons and I don't know if I'm going to do 
don't hug me, I'm scared again, because I, I, I have done it uh, once on my channel, and it didn't go well, because uh, uh, they, they've copyright claimed my videos before, and, you know, they, they re they've released it, I mean, like, on the original channel, I remember I disputed it, and they, they released it pretty fast, but on my newer channel, it didn't really get released fast, so I just took it down, and I didn't do anything else. Uh, but yeah, I will try my best to do other YouTubers as well, like Shmoyoho and like uh, Epic Rap Battles, because those are my favorite people to do actually. And uh, yeah, that's about it, and I hope to see you in the next video. See you then.